going on there, YouTube? <gasps> Big Ben with Twisted 420 has returned. <laughs> That's right, people, we are back. And today is another exercise in repetition. We're taking a look at another smock product. That's right, people. Today we are taking a look at the Smock V-Fin. Okay, the Smock V-Fin kit. All right, people, and today is a giveaway, and I know I fudged up last Friday. I didn't put up a video at all. Some stuff came up. I was going to announce the giveaway winners then, but we'll do it this Friday with a live stream and a special guest. That sound good? But yeah, we're also doing a giveaway on this as well. We're giving away the black and red one and the, the satin white and prism one. So yeah, stick around to the end of the video to see how to win these fuckers, okay? All right, there's also gonna be a second video today. I know I said that Monday, I fucked up, put that video up Tuesday, but there will be a second video of today. It's just a not too shabby juice sale, but I thought I'd let you know. I really gotta do some catching up. <laughs> this shit's, shit's starting to stack up around me, man. I really need to get caught up on these videos. Maybe two a days next week, we'll see. I, but I, I'll get to that, I'm not gonna vent right now. In front of all you people, what this is, what this is, this is a built-in 8,000 ma, 160 watt device that comes with this TFV12 baby prints. You can get them in a whole bunch of different colors and I've seen it selling for about 50, 55 bucks on the interwebs, okay? All right, so yes, now I know a lot of people, a lot of people don't like built-in battery devices because eventually the battery will degrade and degrade to a point to where the mod's no good unless you know how to go in there and put your own lipo in. So a lot of people like mods where you can pop your own batteries in and so forth and so on. Me, myself, I go through mods pretty quickly and I actually kind of appreciate a built-in battery mod, especially one with a big old battery. 8,000 mod is pretty hefty. It's pretty hefty. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Before I get too much into the mod and stuff, I'm already starting to trail off. We gotta discuss some boring stuff, people. Let's talk about the packaging. And this is, I don't even know if I should even do these anymore for smog packages. I can tell you it's gonna be the same shit. You open it up <laughs> and uh, you got a mod, right? Dig a little bit deeper and you got a bunch of standard stuff. You got your tank in there. You got a micro USB cable, some extra O-rings and seals and then an extra glass and an extra coil, okay? And that's what comes in the package right there. Pretty much what comes in every smock. There is some silica in there though. There is some fucking silica, so I didn't leave that. I did leave that, I'm sorry. There was silica, two packages. Two packages of silica. Okay, so anyway, that's it. 510 connection. We don't even, well, we could talk about the, the tank. This is a TFV12 Baby Prince. Everybody knows about it, same old tank. Got honeycomb 810 tips now. Holds like six or eight mils because of the bubble glass. Pretty good tank. They're, they're all right. They're, they're decent sub ohm tanks, okay? They're not bad. But anyway, beyond that, 510 connection, all right? You got a 510 connection up there with the screen. And I know a lot of people worry about that because they worry about juice leaking into the screen and only fitting certain size addies. Well, I have, you know, interestingly enough, there is a bit of overhang on the back end, but this thing fits a triple. It fits a triple, and the screen doesn't get in the way of a 28 millimeter atomizer having a seat and working on this device. So that's kind of cool. You're gonna have a little overhang, but it kind of works. Kind of works even with the screen up top. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the rest of it's just a big block. You got this little rainbow shimmer prism that changes colors going around it. Uh, you got a big fire bar on the side. Um, you got some venting, plenty of venting down bottom, and you also have a micro USB charging port on the side with a little LED indicator, okay? Overall, I mean, it's a pretty plain Jane little fella. It's not too, it's kind of reserved, kind of conservative for old smog, in my opinion, really. Um, the only thing left to talk about really is this screen, and it's the older screen. They've been doing it for a while, uh, but it's a pretty big screen. It's got all the information you need. Uh, super duper simple smock stuff three clicks you can scroll through the menus bypass TC all that bullshit yada 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 but yeah it's an older screen I'm not the biggest fan of it I'd say that's a pretty good amount of real estate right there if you're gonna still be doing the top up screen put a fucking colorful screen in there I've seen you do that the smaller screens on other stuff put just get rid of these old screens put them out the pasture fucking take old yeller out back and fucking show them the 30 out six okay <laughs> I'm just tired of seeing them. Unless they have some new functionality or they work really well. But this is just, I'm not a fan of that. You got your up and down button up there, all that. Everything's pretty standard. The one thing I will say that I like about this, it's kind of it's kind of derivative in my opinion. But the one thing I will say that I like about this is that big ass built-in battery. I've been using it, you could probably get through 
you know, a good day, day and a half, depending on what your wattage is set to. But you could pick it up fully charged in the morning, go on a road trip, go do some stuff, and probably make it home fine with some battery left over. That's that's one thing cool. 8,000 mAh, pretty good. Now, if you run this bitch at 160 watts all the time, probably not going to last as long. Okay, so, you know, fucking common sense. You guys know what's up. Let me have a talk real quick, though. Not too shabby, not too shabby. This old baby prince is doing okay. Overall, man, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's not bad. I think it's not bad. I think the biggest saving grace is this big ass battery, but it's a big heavy mod, and it doesn't quite fit in with today's trends. But hey, you know, something they did anyway. At least it's not too expensive. 50, 55 bucks. Eh. Yeah. To enter the giveaway, all you gotta do, you guys know what's up. Like this video, be subscribed to me, and comment on the video. Comment whatever you want. Comment what you think about the video. Comment what you think about the mod. Comment whatever the fuck you want. And that enters you in a chance to win one of these bad boys, okay? So yeah, if nothing else, this would be a good work mod or something. You know, take it to work, fucking throw it around, bang around. Because it's not that pretty to begin with. You know, you don't have to worry about fucking it up too much, you know what I mean? But anyway, that's how I feel about this thing. It's kind of bland, but it's got a big battery. Bada bing! Links in the description. If you want to go look around, take it out, I don't give a shit. And therefore, there we are. So anyway, people, with that being said, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Remember... Doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on, as long as you're not on them gosh darn stinkies. Okay? And last but not least, you stay sexy, YouTube. Me and the Smock V Fin, we're out. Vaping saves more lives than free thought. <laughs>